What is going on, champions of the arena? I am the host with the most sleepy here. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video, of course. And today, I got the patch notes. I just got them in the mail. We're going to read them layer by layer. But first, make sure you smack that like button if you're hyped for the crossplay. All these buffs, Pathfinder mains, smack this like button. It's hyped. It's hyped. Okay, so Rampart, increase the rate. Uh, with Sheila's bullet spread titans, Bloodhound. Updated Bloodhound's tactical cooldown while ultimate is active from 6 seconds to 8 seconds. Okay, okay, I'm not mad about it. Change it to 8 seconds means you got 4 seconds of being revealed and 4 seconds to reposition in between pulses. 4 seconds of being revealed, gosh damn! <laughs> Pathfinder! Pathfinder! Pathfinder's finally getting some love! Grapple cooldown is now based on the distance Pathfinder's traveled. The shortest possible pool has a 10 second cooldown. The maximum cooldown is still 35 seconds, but you're going to have to swing a very long distance to get there. Have fun out there, friends! That's awesome! So bad players no longer need to fear the face plant grapple quite as much. If you're not going anywhere, you're not incurring much of a cooldown. But if you are a grapple god, then you're going to have 35 second cooldowns. But that's only if you're making, you know, super far, you know, grapples. So it depends on your your skill level, I guess you could say, on how much of a cooldown you have. Wraith. Update a Wraith sprint animation. Wraith is a challenging legend to nerf, so we're not really looking to, you know, perform. Okay, so they're not trying to nerf Wraith. But they did change the way she runs, her sprint animation. In this patch, we're introducing a new set of sprint animations for Wraith. These are much more upright and expose a larger area of her body to gunfire. Gosh damn! What? <laughs> That's sucks. That's not... <laughs> That sucks, man. Ah, oh, man. Crypto's drone can now open loot vaults. If Crypto has a key in his inventory, that's, that, that's, that's badass. Loba, increased in range of ultimate and passive from 3,100 units to 4,500 units. Okay, Loba now starts the match with her ultimate half charge. Where's the tactical buff? Where's her animation? No, no, I want her animation to go down. Come on, man. Devotion, increase hip fire spread at a base level and also increasing the spread while firing. Spitfire. We try to keep the hip fire numbers consistent with similar weapons of the same class. So the hip fire spread increase on a devotion is also being added to the Spitfire to compensate for reducing horizontal recoil on the Spitfire. Okay. 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 So LMGs are just gonna be more OP up close. Be careful for that. Be careful for that Devo up in your face. Triple Tate, reduce fire rate from 1.4 to 1.3? Who is doing this? Quality of life. Loot prompts now show how much damage an evil shield has occurred. You can now make a better decision on when switching. That's super cool. I really like this feature. Thank you. That's super cool. That I I really enjoy that. We also have a display performance. Uh, it's a new option that activates a panel that appears on the top right of your screen during a match. This shows FPS, you know, loss, choke, in slash out, the amount of data being sent from your server that's that's super cool it's really useful i'm not gonna lie you could be like oh yeah it's blame it on the server you know <laughs> we got anonymous mode what we got basically this is streamer mode it basically hides your name from the champion squad um so that's super cool so people don't know you're in the lobby i'm guessing this is gonna hide your name too in the kill feed that's super cool congrats to all the streamers out there that needed this this is awesome this is hey they needed this i'm not gonna lie this is really cool level zero Evil armor will now appear as empty in the inventory, so now you get pain to request for armor. I remember my friend Reaper was complaining about this too, like, hey, why, why can't we do this? And now it's fit, so that's awesome. That's super cool. Um, that's I don't know. I'm I'm happy with these patch notes. A little sad about Rafe though. Uh, but Pathfinder, man, we got some love for Pathfinder. Shout out to Tiago, man. I know he he's gonna be hyped. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, smack the like button down below. Uh, they also seem like they fit some audio issues with some weapons, so hopefully that that's a thing. Uh, Loba's got some issues preventing her from teleporting into drill side uh, and lava fissure. Not drill side, from drills around lava fissure. And also teleporting on certain terrain and staging, so that fits too. Okay. Revenant fits an issue with the HUD uh, from the replicator staying on screen when the totem effects wear off. Okay, okay. So they fit some bots. I like it. I like it. Um, 
Okay, okay. Not a bad little update. They didn't fit, you know, they didn't nerf or buff all the legends. I was kind of, you know, hoping for a Watson, you know, but hey, I'll keep it. I like it. Not gonna lie. I feel like there's gonna be a lot more Pathfinders out there tomorrow and a lot more Spitfire and Devotion. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and goodbye.